I'm Jason Manning. This would be Sean Scramstad, Vice President of Midwest Communications Radio Renaissance Man. Thank you for joining us again for the KQ Ultimate 15 Countdown as we continue to count down the 15 classic rock albums of all time, at least as determined by the crack research staff, which is this guy and myself here at KQ. So we are now on number, well, here's the deal. The guy behind the microphone, uh, Mike Bernier, uh, he took a hiatus last week because well, he went to the other side for a little while. He's back. We're very thankful that he's here. So we weren't able to record a video detailing Back in Black, number 11 on the countdown by ACDC. And, Sean, I think you and I were both in full agreement this one. It could have been a top 10 album, but it's one of those deals. Once you get to the top 11, 12, what have you, they're almost interchangeable, save for one, two, and three. Back in Black could have fallen anywhere in there. It's just one of those all-timers. It is. It uh, you know I remember when this album came out and uh, I was programming out east and this this album and and remember uh, Bon Scott had died sure and so I thought oh I don't know how this is going to be you know this is going to be tough this is going to be tough right and here it came it was just an exceptional album I remember uh, well I think the first single was you shook me all night long wasn't it I don't remember if it was that or Hell's Bells was it Hell's Bells it might have been Hell's Bells. We should, so. have probably, we, should, we should have probably done our homework. <laughs> so, but I remember we, we, played, we just played this album to death. I mean, it was, a, it was back in the album days, so we just would play you know, yeah. four or five album cuts. Sure. Right? When an album came out, it was so fantastic. And this was just a great, great album. Really a turning point, really. Uh, back in Black and You Shook Me All Night Long. I don't remember Hell's Bells being that big, but I remember those two songs. Well, it, Highway to Hell, uh, that was uh, the one they released with Bon Scott right before he died. Yep. And, and yep. Robert Mutt Lang, who's produced you know everybody and anybody, uh, they were poised to take that next step. Yep. Bon Scott drinks himself to death and dies, and then they didn't even mess around. They went and they found Brian Johnson right away. Who Where just, did they find him? He was with the local band. I forget. The, it begins with a G. I forget the name of the band. He was just a local huh. band oh. lead singer guy. Awesome. They found him and... Yeah. Uh, the rest, they say, is history. Uh, the album sold 50 million copies worldwide, uh, and it still continues to be a, a must-play for anybody who's uh, into classic rock. So, And what number? Number 11. Oh, yeah, that deserves number 11. It yep. should maybe even should have been top 10, but 11 is probably a good spot for it. I think it's safe to say that's ACDC's high watermark. Yeah, I think you so, know. too. They've had a handful of fantastic songs since then, but nothing is complete. No, nope. it's back in black. So that means we move right on to. So we're going to do a, a double thing here because uh, we weren't able to record something last week. We go to the top ten now, and that would be Fleetwood Mac "Rumors" from uh, 1979. Is this was correct? this was right in the beginning of um, FM rock. I remember it well. Sure. So this was this was uh, yeah 77. Is that? Well, it, it followed up with uh, the eponymous 1975 release by Fleetwood Mac. Eponymous. eponymous. It's a good word. And uh, it had Rhiannon on there. For a long time, I thought Rhiannon was on Rumors. And then, you know, obviously yeah. uh, read something once in a while, and that helps. Uh, Rhiannon was their biggest hit to date. I don't know. It still might be their biggest single. But this one, I mean, you talk about... Uh, the chain. There, there's divorce, and there's breakups, and there's the cocaine, and the excess, and everything that went on. I mean, Stevie Nicks said this album was Fleetwood Mac at their worst, and when they were at their worst, they recorded their best work. Um, they were an absolute train wreck, this band. But you get these uh, people in a room, and they record, and they make some awesome music together. Why is it that uh, a lot of these bands, they're, they're very, you know, early work is, is by far their best. You know, you know and, I th- and this really was, honestly. Rumors was by far the uh, high watermark for yeah. this band. There's no doubt about it. Well, a lot of these bands, they have a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a little bit of spice in the jar, right? And, yeah, And right. some bands once have... Once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, once it's gone, you're not going to get any more spice out of no, that jar. No, no. And uh, there, there are a few that have stood the test of time. I think the Stones, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, uh, you could uh, sit here and name a few more. Look at the look at the songs on here. Go Your Own Way, yep. Dreams, Don't Stop, You Make Love and Fun, The Chain. All of these songs it's just are all, great. It's just they're, smash. They're full of... <laughs> Really smash is. after smash. Yeah. Forty million copies sold, I think, is what I've uh, wow what I came across. That's, so. that's really spectacular. Then they fo- now, we're in we're into the uh, we're into the real good stuff. Now, yeah, actually. <laughs> and then uh, they followed up with Tusk, and of course, uh, Lindsey Buckingham wanted to do something completely different than Rumors. Let's yeah. let's branch out. That didn't go so well. That was really bad. No, it was a terrible album. Yeah, really Though the was. So- the song Tusk was good itself. I think the song Tusk is cool. Very you cool. You know what? Song. There's a song that actually holds up today pretty well. I yeah, think, you know. 
But the rest of the albums is yeah, yeah it's really there's crap. nothing to it. So, so. Uh, there you go. The uh, Ultimate 15 Countdown. We have now cracked the top 10. Fleetwood Max Rumors is where we're at. Uh, number nine and next we'll be week. back next week if Mike is. We're yeah, stay alive, will you? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're sure counting on you sticking with us. We sure appreciate so, that. Yeah, we would appreciate it. Uh, the Ultimate 15 is brought to you by Musical Round and Cars Complete Auto Care and Repair in Woodland. Also, Gronk's Grill and Bar and Denny's Lawn and Garden. Uh, we thank you for checking this out, and we thank you for listening to KQ each and every morning, 10 a.m., while the countdown goes on with Kevin Key, the KQ Ultimate 15 countdown. Thanks.